Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today, we are doing our coin analysis on Dropple. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button below. Also, I want to remind you that this is an ICO, and please remember to do your own research because investing in an ICO can be extremely risky. Also, the team at Dropple has reached out to me to do a sponsor review of their project, but I have reserved the right to be honest and objective for all of you. With that being said, let's get started. So we have my coin analysis layout. We have what is Dropple, the coin purpose, team, market cap, competition, and partners. A new portion, prototype, we'll look if they actually have one and then try to look at it if they do. The goals of the project and then a star rating between 1 and 10. So what is Dropple? They are an autonomous trading investment platform bringing autonomous financial planning and investing to the crypto world by offering long-term investments, short-term investments, and retirement plans. Basically, they have a platform called DEX, which uses high level of arithmetic data combined with AI and human insight to select the best trading strategies that will yield the best returns. Their integrated software allows you to choose the risk level factor of your trades while taking away the human error and emotional trading experience that happens with most investors. Now for their coin purpose, their token is called Drops, and this will be the currency that fuels the DEX platform and is used for all transactions into and out of the DEX system. So now for their team. And like I said in last video, we will pick their top three people and talk about each one. We have Zach Marta. He's the co-founder and developer at Dropple, and he has over seven years of experience in programming. I gave him a star for that. Next, we have Jeremy McPine, which is also a co-founder and developer at Dropple, and he was relationship manager at Paysave Group. And then our third and final person is Patrick O'Hare, who is the head of the marketing team at Dropple. He's owned and operated a marketing agency in Arizona and was digital marketing specialist and territory manager at Paysafe Group. So they only have three stars, no superstars, and no master stars. This is a pretty young team. I couldn't find information for, I think, four of their members. I have talked to the CEO, and I do believe that they're going to update that and hopefully find a way to give us information on all their members. So now for their market cap, we have a hard cap of $75 million and a soft cap of $17.5 million. So $75 million is usually a lot higher than we like to see, but any unsold tokens will be burned or distributed. So if you don't think they can hit that $75 million, then it could still be a great buy. If they only hit $20 million, then that could be a super good deal if you get in that pre-ICO. So there you have $15 billion circulating supply, $30 billion total supply. This is assuming they do hit their hard cap. Their crowd sell price, which is after pre-sale, is going to be half a penny. And then right now, pre-sale is 0 0.0035 cents. And like I said, any unsold tokens will be burned. I want to stress this enough. And also, U.S. investors are not allowed to participate. But it doesn't seem like they have a KYC at this time. So now for their competition and partners, we have Autonio, which they don't have a working prototype yet. And they use their tokens for fuel not for investment. Then we have Rialto, which is a market prediction, not really used for investments. I still put them as a competitor though. And then we have Danel, which their prototype is kind of far from being launched. I believe it's going to be the end of 2018. So Dropple should actually have their prototype out or their platform out before they do. And then for their partners, we have Coin Payment. So now for the new section, Prototype. So the CEO, Zach, released a video today showing the DEX bot and back-end testing examples. It's super in-depth and shows pretty much every how everything works. I have a few screenshots here so that you can see it and the link to the YouTube video below. Actually, I believe it's right here. It's, it's 23 minutes long, but it's super detailed. It shows you exactly how it's going to work with real examples. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Check it out if you get a chance. I will put it in the comment section if you want to look at it. And now for the roadmap, we're going to go to March where the ICO will end. And then it says March 10th, the drop tokens will be distributed to users and the platform launches. Also, they plan to get on smaller exchanges. Then we have April and May. We have the mobile wallet integration. Then April to June, we have high investment implementation and then integrate drops to bigger exchanges. Then Q3 2018 and beyond, they will implement Dropple as a next-gen retirement plan for common careers. I actually like how this roadmap is set up. It shows that they're trying to get things done as soon as possible, get their token out there, smaller exchange than the bigger exchange, not just having some super ambitious 
like these little tokens talk about getting on Binance and uh, Bitfinex or Bitrix, that's not going to be easy. They have realistic expectations and hopefully they implement all of them. I also expect a 2019 roadmap when we get closer to the end of the year. So now for their star rating, I'm giving them an 8 out of 10. So now for their pros, they have a very action oriented roadmap and their platform is set to launch in March. That's super awesome. That's super soon right after ICO. And they offer somewhat of a reliable and safe way to trade in a super volatile market. Plus their idea seems pretty unique compared to their competition. Estimated returns are based on time and capital investments and how aggressive you choose to input your settings. Also, funds are not stuck in contracts, so you can auto reinvest or withdraw anytime you want. You get paid in their token, so it will definitely hold its value. And the more popular the platform gets, the more valuable the token becomes. Also, I know something that a lot of people like, they have a super low token price. I don't really seem to care about that that much because I care about market cap, but a lot of new people love those sub penny tokens. And here's a perfect one for them. And then since they have a large hard cap, whatever they don't sell will be burned. It's a huge plus in my opinion and could possibly allow you to overlook the $75 million hard cap. So now for their cons, they have a very young team. Like I said, they only have three stars. I actually couldn't find any advisors listed. That's fairly new to me. And of course, their high hard cap. That's probably the thing that worries me the most. But like I said, the token burn could solve all of that. That's a dropple for you. Let me know what you think. Do you want to participate in this ICO? What do you find the positive and the negatives? Let me know in the comment section. I'm sure they're interested. I'm super interested. Come to my Discord. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.